to show how I centre seven and a half kilos of clay. Um, I've, I've kneaded it and I'll bring it up into a cone by doing it a little more each time. Try not to um, trap any air. Um, and I'm going to dome the end of that off in the hope that as I slam it down on the wheel it doesn't trap any air underneath it. So let's go through to the wheel. Um, I wouldn't be able to lift um, a large bowl off um, easily on its own so I attach either attach a, a bat or if you have something like this a, a lotus wheel head or a studded head clip a bat in and then start pushing the bottom edge in a bit and then generally slap it down into place now if you've ever wondered why evolution gave you this little point on the end of your elbow on this funny flange on the end of your pelvis now's the time for enlightenment wetting the clay I can hook that little point into the flange on my pelvis and push onto the clay now if the clay wants to come off centre it's got to push my the whole 13 odd stone of me backwards and it doesn't so that's centred the bottom edge there I'm just going to tidy that little bit up the top on the um, wheel head itself and having pushed in there I'll push both with both hands now and bring my hands up slightly and you see I've created a shoulder here now I'm going to hook this curved part of my no, of my right hand uh, onto that onto that shoulder and that, again I'll wet the clay and I'm going to I'll refer to either a shoulder or as, as a wave because I need to bring it as a wave down the side of the clay now until it's in line with my left hand wet the clay again and once it's in line with my left hand turn both hands out and push in bring a shoulder up a little bit higher or shoulder away again that bit of that hand goes over there and when you think of this as a wave again any time it's drying up too much water in when you think of it as a wave think of it as a big kind of swell of wave what you don't want is to turn it into a breaker um, if it becomes a breaker then, it, then of course you're going to be trapping air and sloppy clay inside the thing. Now I'm right up to the top here, push that down a little bit flatter because I don't want to get it too tall and then come onto the side there and push another little wave. Each time you push a little wave down and it, you might do it a dozen times before it becomes central. Sometimes you get a bit of clay peels off on your hands like you did just there. Don't worry about it. Okay, bring it up. Push down on the top. It's another little wave. It's going to come rippling down the side. I do not know that. And now I'm going to push this down into a sort of flatter shape. Tidy it up. Have a look, yes, and um, that is centered enough for my purposes here. 